Well, um, in every project that I do, I like to have some sort of like a finished video. And I also always thank my subscribers for, for the feedback and all the videos that I make. And, and I guess, you know, again, I thank you for that. Um, in this case, um, this is the final product of a bathroom that I finished for a customer. It took a while because it is really customized for them. Um, I, I had the privilege of designing the bathroom. And now this is a final product that I want to go over uh, with you as an idea for your bathrooms. Uh, first of all, I want to I show you the material that I use over here on the walls and pretty much in the shower. Um, this is um, a marble called White Carrara, so it has some sort of nice light gray tones. These are, um, you know, decorations made out of the same material. And they were cut in half um, carefully, so we have, you know, the, the tiles in the same type of size. We, we deal in this case with a sixteen of an inch or less and to, to make it appropriate for that. So we, we created some sort of like a subway tile type of finish to just kind of resemble a little bit of that back in the day style. So it gives a lot of more classic, you know, Roman-like style. On the floor, we use something called basket weave. And, and this comes in sheets. These sheets are 12 inches by 12 inches. And pretty much what we did is that we, we, we created a, a pattern in the middle and we kind of fill it up around with, with, the, other, with the other marble. And in this case, we you know we just left the bigger pieces. We had a lot of the of the half accents around. Um, to continue with the tile, what we did over here is that we created a steam shower. The steam shower had a, you know the uh, a particularity, which is the steam control over here. What happens is that this uh, control is has a dedicated line on a and a ten gauge wire with a thirty amp breaker. That's what the suggestion for this kind of home size steam system. So the steam system has a, you know, a particular red kind of looking color um, uh, safety cap that will let somebody know that that's really hot and all the stuff. You can actually change it for a chrome finish, you know, if you want. Um, what we did on the, on, on the back part of it is that we changed this um, glass window that was here, stationary window, for glass blocks. It will give you privacy but it also gives you uh, light. Uh, in this case, inside the shower, what I did is that I actually installed two different um, uh, faucets, so shower faucets. One for the handheld piece, and the other one over here for the, for the regular uh, shower head that is located in this case on the ceiling. If you notice, the ceiling has two lights, and they are controlled separately. Um, the idea is to have a you know, every section of the house at any time during the day with enough light. Um, this part that moves around here is to control the steam that is inside here and also the, the temperature. So, you know, if you either want to do one thing or the other, you, you have, um, you know, uh, air flowing in if you want to. Obviously, this is a frameless shower glass, three eighths of an inch, uh, attached with, you know, with brackets and different points to make sure that everything is, is nice and sealed. Um, the step that you see over here is a step that has a tilt, as well as the shower, going inside the drain. Um, the grout that we use over here, that was the other thing to fill up the little holes, was mixed with an acrylic additive. So that will prevent a lot of mold, and after that everything was sealed and polished. Um, if you notice, all the edges around, including here, here, there, pretty much whatever we have edges. They were rounded, so that with the purpose of um, you know maintaining the surface nice and smooth for anybody to walk, especially very fluid. That's natural, and you will do it in a shower. What happens over here is that since my my customers are fairly tall, we created this customized piece of furniture. What happens with this piece of furniture is that we are trying to mimic what um, the style that they have inside their their. Um, bedroom. So it's a tall, distinctive finish with some kind of legs over there. So pretty much we built it out of, um, um, you know, solid plywood. This is not MDF or any type of particle board. In this case, we use, if you notice, we use some nice heavy duty hinges that are, you know, to support a lot of stuff. They're really smooth to, to finish. And we are featuring this flush finish over here again to match what is there. We use over here, uh, um, black absolute marble piece 
with this two balls that are about 24 inches, um, you know, um, wide by, by about 16 inches uh, deep. Um, what you see over here is an European style wall mounted faucet. Um, what can I say? I mean, it's, it's made so the water will not splash everywhere. And we provided, you know, um, an outlet and, and a switch for control, you know, controlling these lights. And another outlet, can, you know, also hooked up to the ground fall prevention switch, you know, a, a ground fall circuit. Um, in this case, instead of putting a, a light fixture over here, we actually added this, this nice kind of crystal Baccarat-like finish um, to just kind of give accent. Besides that, we already have two light fixtures on the top. These light fixtures are designed to give extreme lighting conditions in the case of, you know, dark days and stuff like that. Besides the lighting, the natural light that we're coming in. If you notice on this side, we have a special fan. This fan is one of the most powerful fans, yet really quiet. The ceiling is smooth as well as the walls. And we actually left this section to give the nice um, uh, fresh look in the paper towels and you know the toilet holder, the toilet paper holder, the paper towel, the the regular towels. Um, everything is uh, the hand towels. Everything is kind of coordinated with uh, with the style of the house. So for that, I had a little bit of purpose, including the handles that I use on the and the um, you know drawers and doors. Um, one more thing that it really you know uh, that was important was to add. Um, something that will always again resemble the, the finish of the of the rest of the cabinetry and and this one is a you know a, I would say a linen closet as you can see I mean it has a, a, a small private section over here for for you know for your toiletries and all the stuff maybe some ropes and stuff and also the one that I exposed my customer did a really good job with doing a really good job trying to color coordinate everything um, I believe that one of the important things inside a bathroom is to actually bring some of your house into the bathroom and that's why some of the features were made and the mirrors were made um, just to kind of follow that, that purpose to give a little bit of um, you know um, proprietorship to, to your bathroom so if you have any question about how to you know organize your bathroom and stuff like that don't, don't you know feel free of, of trying to give me a call a comment or whatever. please like my videos uh, subscribe if you can and, and suggest your videos, uh, my videos to, to others. Um, what else can I say? Thank you so much for everything and I hope these ideas will give you um, an opportunity to explore the possibility of your bathroom as well. Thank you so much.